So, boys and girls, while I was busy yesterday or the day before testing the new firmware update that was available for the Avata 2, adding 4K 100fps capabilities to the drone, and new DJI Fly app sneaked in under the radar on the official release date yesterday. And of course, I'm going to test that um, as well. Take it for a short test flight just to see if everything is like it's supposed to be. Especially because I kind of crashed my uh, Mini 4 Pro the other day on a job for a real estate agent. So it's been interesting to see if everything behaves like it's supposed to do. So let's just go in and check that the update has been implemented here. So we go under about and we should as you can see we now have the 113.4 installed on the dji mini 4 pro according uh, to the release notes there's not much new going on it's basically just fixes uh, for certain issues that was inside the app but let's get the drone airborne and maybe we will be able to see if there's something going on there was an issue reported with the, the flight mode switch that was supposed to yeah not show the correct setting in the interface but that is as far as i can see let's just see if that is it's like it's supposed to be sport mode it's in sport mode normal mode it's in normal mode in city mode so all of that is good so I'm flying in my old hood here, <laughs> in Saskering, and I thought I would pick a different location today. This is around the sport center or the sport facility of the city. And uh, what you can see in the background, that is uh, the, yeah, the sugar factory, where I was actually as an apprentice for some time, some, yeah, 100 years ago. I was an apprentice as an electrician on that facility. So, but it seems it's flying like it's supposed to. The sport facility here is uh, it basically consists of two places. There's one over there where they chopped off the roof. <laughs> it's like a square where they chopped off the roof where you can play different uh, ball games and stuff inside there's a school here on the back side and there was the other yeah place what i normally do is uh, when i do these tests i just try to test the most usual stuff so let's just position the drone here very nicely. Stop the video for a second. So. Then we can switch it into photo mode. Like this and make sure that we have everything set like we want to. We can put this the sports center in the middle. No, like this. Uh, maybe, I don't know. No. Let's go a little bit more towards this side here. Get a little bit of... So we position the sport center, we position that on the rule of third, as well as the sugar factory on the other rule of third. So, let's grab a photo. Looks nice, it's good. Then I have another thing I want to show you, but that's actually quite funny. That's this, uh, our water tower, the city water tower. Let's just switch it back into video. This has nothing to do with the testing of the firmware, but this is actually quite funny. You see this one. So let's just start some video here and I can zoom it in. To check if that works. You see it has a face. And that's because Saskring is called uh, the city that smiles. And I was actually going to school with, um, with a boy that's uh, um, was called Aske or something, and uh, his father, he was, the guy, he was the guy that came up with the idea that he should paint a face on the local water tower. And you can imagine, this was kind of maybe the most stupid idea I ever heard in my life. But um, that's maybe, I don't know, 40 years ago, and it survived up to the day right now. So, 
All right, let's uh, bring the drone back here and just do a little bit of active track testing. Listen, the train is coming. The train is coming. The train is coming. So. So what we can do now is uh, to test the active track part. And there's actually a lot of you that have asked how uh, you enable the, the active track on a drone like this. And it's very, very simple. You just drag a square around the subject that you want to track. And right now we just keep it in spotlight mode. So what happens now is if I fly forward, it will continue to keep me tracked. Ah, okay. Did not continue to keep me tracked. So we need to do it a little bit different here. So, but what I can do is I can still mark the car. And now it tells me it's a car. So if I fly around now, it will basically keep track of the car and keep that in the center. And that seems to be working as well, like it's supposed to. So if I go back, let's say that I go back like this and I go up, see that it still keeps the tracking as long as there's visual contact to the subject. <laughs> so that works pretty nice. Let's just test the point of interest because you can select that. So if I select the point of interest, it will do like a victory round. No, what actually happened uh, during this real estate job was that uh, I was trying to be a wise, a wise guy and fly through a porch. And uh, to be able to do that, I had to disable uh, uh, the obstacle avoidance. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I flew into uh, some of the structures. So let's just stop this. So now we are down memory lane here. So I just want to show you one more thing here. And then we need to take away the locking here because otherwise I, it will keep tracking this. See, over here, behind the trees here, you have the old forge. This is uh, actually quite funny because this is where some of the old uh, guys that I really know how to forge horseshoes and stuff like that, they go here and they show whoa, once a week, they show uh, how this is done the old fashioned way. So what is it doing? What is it doing? So maybe it's because I'm, I don't know. So it's not because I'm, okay. So <laughs> I think the, it didn't crash actually right now, but it's still uh, kind of weird that it's, uh, it's very sensitive to the trees, you know? So, and over here, this is the old uh, scout. Yeah, clubhouse. They're all the blue scouts. I don't know what they are called abroad, but where you learn how to uh, yeah make a bonfire and all sorts of stuff. They um, yeah we had weekly meetings over there. So it's a very very old building. It's it's about to collapse, I guess. See. So. So you see, there's a picture of the guy that actually founded the Boy Scouts globally. He's, uh, yeah, painted there in the building. Oh. By Baden-Paul, Baden -Paul, Baden -Paul, or what? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think it was, that was his name. So. All right. So everything seems to be uh, nice and fine. Maybe we should just... For the sake of it, just try and uh, test out the return to home. No, we don't want that. So we test the vertical video while we're flying back here. See if we can squeeze it in between the trees here. We can. 
So let's fly back to me. So, sure, 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 sure. So everything looks nice. <laughs> so, so that was a short test flight of the new uh, DJI Fly app, the 113.4. And it seems everything is working. Um, it's always a good idea to fly out and test the base functionalities of the drone. And there might be something that I've overlooked, but sort of the base functionality is there and uh, it works uh, pretty reliable. So it would be safe, at least from my bed, for you to install it. In case that you experience something that I have missed in this uh, update, then make sure to drop them in the comments below and let me know and I can do a follow-up video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you did like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you on the next one.